This is Hardensburg, Kentucky, 5 p.m. Saturday, December 19, 2020. The 2020 edition of the Hardensburg Christmas Parade, live on the 104.3 The River Facebook page. Brought to you by the folks at Subway on Old Highway 60 in Hardensburg. My name is Lee Bramlett, and I'll be bringing you the video along with some perspective on what you'll be seeing this evening. The Hardensburg Christmas Parade, the last of the three Christmas parades in Breckenridge County. The Irvington Parade a few weeks ago kicked off festivities. Then we had the Cloverport Christmas Parade a couple of weeks back. The Hardensburg Parade initially was scheduled for December the 12th. However, a threat of rain in the forecast in the days leading up to that Saturday prompted organizers to kick back the event to a weekend. Wouldn't you know it, no good deed goes unpunished as we'll be drop, drop, dodging raindrops here for the event that's coming up underway. Let us know where you're watching from in the comments section. We always appreciate you being with us no matter where you are across Breckenridge County, Kentucky, or the rest of the nation. We hope you're enjoying this Saturday evening as the uh, parade about to get underway. You can see uh, in the distance the uh, lights of the escort that will be uh, leading this year's parade. That will be uh, members of the uh, Breckenridge County uh, Constables Division as they will be uh, leading this year's parade as they begin their march off of Bank Street and will be heading to uh, downtown along Old Highway 60. And again, we uh, Appreciate letting you know where you're watching from this evening. Breckenridge County, of course, some of the places where folks are watching from. And we appreciate you to appreciate where you're coming from this evening. As we said, leading this year's parade will be the Breckenridge County Constables. This year's Constables from across Breckenridge County taking part in the event. McDaniels watching here this evening. Glad to have you with us. Again, this is the 2020 Hardensburg Christmas Parade. Brought to you by Subway on Old Highway 60 in Hardensburg. Of course, you can always stop by for carry-out or drive-through. Also, you could ask about their Platters, if you've got a crew coming in for the holidays. As the Breckenridge County Constables leading this year's parade. We received a little bit of information about this year's parade at Grand Marshals, and we're pleased to tell you about that. We want to thank Chief Terry Lasley for passing all that information to us this year. There are two Grand Marshals for this year's parade as we have a little bit of a lull after the constables began this year's parade. The two grand marshals for this year's event are Nettie Parker and Wilma Thomas. I understand Nettie being driven at this year's parade by Mayor Wayne Macy. Of course, Parker and Thomas, longtime members of the Hardensburg City Council serving this city in that capacity for some 30 years. We thank them for their service, and we appreciate them as being part of this year's parade. Merry Christmas. How we doing? Glad to have you with us here this evening. Glad, again, wherever you may be watching from, again, the Grand Marshals for this year's parade are Nettie Thomas and Wilma Parker. And we want to thank the folks as well. The city wanted to make sure they thank the folks out at Dan Powers GM Center for providing the vehicles that are serving for this year's parade. Now behind our Grand Marshals, and you are seeing them right now, maybe just starting to slip through the picture there. We have a special guest for this year's parade, and that is Breckenridge County Deputy Sheriff John Lyons. For those of you who were not part of our broadcast in Irvington, Deputy Lyons was wounded this year, earlier this year, in the line of duty. He had to be hospitalized in Louisville, where he underwent treatment for his injuries, but has recovered and has since returned to duty. So we appreciate Deputy Lyons and all of the law enforcement and first responders in our community for their service, laying their lives on the line every day in service of this area. You see the various police agencies as they continue to move forward. Breckenridge County Sheriff's Office out 
at about there as the lights, police lights shine brightly here. I believe next up we're going to have the Irvington City Fire Department. Again, let us know where you're watching from in the comments section. Glad to have you on board this evening as live streaming of this year's parade brought to you by Subway on Old Highway 60 in Ardensburg. Make sure you can stop by and ask about gift cards, which always spend well as Christmas gifts. So those available at Subway here on Old Highway 60 in Ardensburg. As you can continue to see the various law enforcement agencies. Behind them will be Rec Central EMS. Glad to see those folks taking part in this year's parade again. Let us know where you may be watching from. See someone in watching from Harna this evening. As again, we're broadcasting live from Old Highway 60 in Hartensburg. Between the First State Bank location and at Breckenridge Health. See someone watching us here this evening in Michigan. Glad you're going to be joining us from wherever you are across the country to view this year's parade as we're into now the various fire departments representing Breckenridge County. Of course, leading the way, as you would appreciate, would be at the city of Hartensburg. Morgantown here checking in this evening. Glad to have you on board with us wherever you are. A little closer to home in McDaniels as we see the area fire departments making their way through. As we mentioned at the onset of our live stream, the plan was to hold this event back on Saturday the 12th. However, in the days leading up to the parade, the decision was made because of a threat of rain to postpone the event for the week. And as we said, of course, rain moving through the area right now as we're trying to drop the dodge the raindrops. Richland, Washington, Louisville, Kentucky, among some of those watching here this evening. Glad to have you wherever you might be watching us from as we're seeing, again, the various fire departments from around Breckenridge County making their way down Old Highway 60 from Bank Street, headed down to the square in Hartensburg. Again, our live stream brought to you by our friends at Subway on Old Highway 60 in Hartensburg with the live stream of this year's Hartensburg Christmas Parade. Again, if you're watching us ahead of the route, we know we have some folks watching for various points downstream from us along Old Highway 60. This year's Parade Grand Marshals are city, former city council members, Nettie Parker and Wilma Thomas. As again, we continue to see the various fire departments and their agencies here. Glad to see the folks from around Breckenridge County being part of this year's event. As we continue to see the area fire departments make move through the area. Again, live streaming from the Hartensburg Christmas Parade made possible by Subway on Old Highway 60 in Hartensburg. Glad to see folks from South Carolina joining us here this evening. Of course, folks near and far are watching this year's parade. It is the last of the three holiday parades here in Breckenridge County. As we continue to see the area fire departments make their way along Old Highway 60, passing by our location. More of the area fire departments making their way down Old Highway 60. As we thank all the folks that are joining us on the live stream here this evening. Hope you're enjoying this wherever you are, be it across Breckenridge County or near or far away. Again, many thanks wherever you are watching this evening as you continue to see the area fire departments make their way down Old Highway 60 past our location as they are throwing out candy. The rain not deterring people from being part of this year's parade. Had to deal with a little bit of rain up at Irvington in the parade last month. However, that Cali moved out of the way 
before the start of the parade here. Getting some raindrops right now as those still coming down, but not deterring the crowd from getting out and, of course, picking up candy that's being thrown out as, again, the various fire departments in Breckenridge County making their way as part of this year's parade possession. And now we start to move through the area fire departments, getting to some of the local businesses and other participants that are taking part in this year's parade. Many thanks to a lot of folks that are watching Seary, Kentucky here this evening. As we see the familiar old school bus of Gentry's General Store on Highway 60. And behind them will be one of the vehicles from 104.3 The River. I believe that will be Miss Sammy Quiggins of Never Trust a Skinny Cook fame. How we doing, Miss Sammy? Hope you're enjoying this evening. Uh, Miss Sammy enjoyed being out at the Irvington event and jumped at the chance to visit us here in Hartensburg. Again, we see uh, some of the various vehicles that are part of this year's parade. Again, live streaming of the Christmas Parade. Brought to you by Subway on Old Highway 60 in Hartensburg. Let us know where you may be watching from in the comments section. I believe I see a vehicle from Save Right Drugs on Highway 60 up in Irvington. Of course, Save Right Drugs down in Country Pharmacy, part of the Save Right family of pharmacies. I believe behind that is Paul and Meredith from the Hometown Morning Show. How are we doing? Good, how are you? Doing good, trying to stay dry. Yeah. <laughs> Paul and Meredith, of course, we're at the Cloverport Christmas Parade and we thank them for taking time out of their weekend to join us as part of this year's Hartensburg Christmas Parade. Locust Hill, Owensboro, a lot of folks Near and far, tune in to check in on Breckenridge County as a part of this year's parade. And again, we thank the folks at Subway in Hartensburg for making possible this year's parade. Seeing a lot of the folks again, have several folks, almost 150 watching live right now and glad you're joining us here on this wet and dreary evening in Breckenridge County. But it is not stopping this year's parade as a lot of folks have parked their cars along Old Highway 60, even getting out to pick up the candy that is still being available. A little bit of rain still falling across the area right now. As again, continuing to see the various Vehicles making their way up Old Highway 60. As we have an interesting setup of vehicles here, we have a caravan pulling a series of barrels converted into vehicles. As again, we continue to see more vehicles, including a monster truck of all things at this year's Hardensburg Christmas Parade. Again, seeing the various vehicles making their way down the street here as light has fallen in Breckenridge County. Brandenburg Telecom, I believe, is the next vehicle after the monster truck. And we thank the folks at Brandenburg Telecom for being part of this year's event. The Hardensburg Christmas Parade 2020 live stream on 104.3 The River Facebook page is a service of subway on Old Highway 60 in Hardensburg. If you're headed home after the break, be sure to stop by and pick up the sandwich. And say hi to the folks and thank them for making possible our live stream here this evening. Continuing to see the vehicles that are coming up the line. Again, if you're still down the line waiting to see vehicles, this year's Parade Grand Marshals are Nettie Parker and Wilma Thomas, longtime 
City Council members. Also behind them will be Breckenridge County Sheriff's Deputy John Lyons, New Bethel Baptist Church behind the folks at Brandenburg Telecom. As the rain starts to pick up just a bit here, again, rain moving through the area of the city. Behind them will be the folks from First State Bank with locations in Hartensburg, Irvington, and Rough River. Member FDIC will housing lender get that in for legal purposes, but we thank First State for being part of this year's parade, braving the elements, if you will. Again, this is live streaming from the 2020 Hartensburg Christmas Parade on the 104.3 The River Facebook page, brought to you by Subway on Old Highway 60 in Hartensburg. Behind the folks at First State Bank, I believe we're going to have the folks believe this is Dry Valley Baptist Church, and that is the case. With the anchoring and the message, are you anchored in Jesus? And we thank the folks from Dry Valley and all the folks for braving the rain here this evening to be part of this year's Hartensburg Christmas Parade. Green Bay, Wisconsin, where it is cold and snowy, so appreciate you watching this evening. Behind them are the folks that believe Jeremy Armstrong gave me the heads up that they were turning out. This is Frankie's Hardware. Just up the street from where we're broadcasting on Old Highway 60 in Hardensburg. Frankie's a well-lighted display to be part of this year's Hardensburg Christmas Parade. Again, let us know where you're watching from the comments section. We've heard from South Carolina, Green Bay, Wisconsin, Washington State, among other places. And, of course, a lot of folks here in Breckenridge County are tuning in this evening for the Hartsburg Christmas Parade. We continue to see the various entries making their way down Old Highway 60 on this rainy evening in Hartensburg. As our area churches who are also turning out in force to be part of this year's parade. Again, this is live streaming of the Hartensburg Christmas Parade from the 104.3 The River Facebook page brought to you by Subway on Old Highway 60 in Hardensburg. We had a chance to talk to Christina Willoughby this morning about all the things that are going on out at Subway. If you're on your way out after the parade to get something to eat or in the days going forward, be sure to stop by and let them know how much you appreciated the live stream of this year's Hardensburg Christmas Parade. As we're dodging the raindrops, trying to stay dry here. And thank the many folks who are braving the elements to be part of this year's parade. Again, continue to see various vehicles. I believe we have the Restoration Church. I spot their entry as the next one in this year's parade. Many thanks to all of you watching wherever you are across Breckenridge County, Kentucky, or points around the globe, wherever you may be watching from this evening on this Saturday evening. As we continue to see the various entries make their way down Old Highway 60 with the destination of downtown, continuing to see the various vehicles and entries here. Next up, we have our Breckenridge County Judge Executive, Judge Morris Lucas. How are we doing, Judge? As the judge waving to the crowd and all of us here. Butler Garage, a, a classic vehicle. Of course, the folks out on, out on Harned, Butler's Garage and Record Service, but a, a classic, Wrecker from the day. As we continue to see various vehicles make their way down the road here. Again, let us know where you're watching from. 
in the comments section, even after our broadcast wraps up here this evening. I believe next up, I believe we have the, I believe that was the county attorney, Brett Butler. I'll have to, if I am speaking out of turn there, I extend apologies as we have various farm vehicles that are part of this year's parade. As we mentioned, back to the Grand Marshals this year, Nettie Parker and Wilma Thomas, vehicles being provided for the Grand Marshals by Dan Power GM Center. The city wants us to thank them for their support. Also, special guest of this year's event is, of course, Breckenridge County Sheriff's Deputy John Lyons, who is back in service after being wounded in the line of duty this year. As the various vehicles continue to make their way down Old Highway 60 as part of the Hartensburg Christmas Parade, the 2020 edition. A possible live streaming on the 104.3 The River Facebook page by Subway in Hartensburg. I believe we just had the vehicle from the Meade County RECC and another vehicle, I believe, from the RECC he is heading down Old Highway 60 here. As we're getting in the home stretch of this year's parade. And we thank the folks from the RECC for taking part in this year's event. Continuing to see some more of the RECC vehicles that are part of the event. Again, our thanks to Subway on Old Highway 60 in Hartensburg for providing the live stream from this year's Hardensburg Christmas Parade. Stop by and let the folks there know how much you appreciate being able to catch the sights and sounds of this year's parade as we continue to see vehicles from the Meade County RECC come by our position with mounted entries that will follow behind them. As we continue to see the various entries come by, again, the mounted entries right there in the center of your screen right now. Again, continuing to see the various folks that have braved the rain and somewhat chilly temperatures to be part of this year's parade. And we thank those folks for taking time out of their weekend as Veolia Water, the next entry, to be part of this year's parade as they will be following up the entries there. And then they will be followed in turn by the Hardensburg Police Department. Chief Terry Lasley along with officers Thomas Young, Adam Lucas, Brad Norwood, and Zach Critchelow. Assistant Chief Thomas Young in the second vehicle, as we mentioned, followed behind him by officers Adam Lucas, Brad Norwood, and Zach Critchelow. Our thanks to Chief Lasley for passing along information about this year's Grand Marshal and the events as part of this year's parade as we are slowly starting to wind down this year's edition of the parade as candy still out there to be had and folks taking advantage of that. We thank you for watching us this evening wherever you might be on this Saturday evening in Breckenridge County. The Hardensburg Police Department entries continue to make their way up the street here along Old Highway 60. They will proceed downtown to the square behind the vehicles from the Hardensburg Police Department as there are a bit of gap. As you see the two trailing vehicles there, we will have the entries from the Hardensburg Fire Department as the last of the Hardensburg police vehicles exits off to our right here. And 
Glad you're watching us. If it's either in the parade, along the parade route, around Breckenridge County, or wherever you may be watching, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. As we have the vehicles from the Hartonsburg Fire Department. Close to rounding out this year's parade. As the various elements of the Hartonsburg Fire Department head their way up the street here. As we're close to winding down this 2020 edition of the Hartonsburg Christmas Parade. Our thanks again to Subway on Old Highway 60 in Hartonsburg for allowing us to live stream this year's event on our Facebook page. Let us know in the comments section where you're watching from, even if you're watching this later on in the event. As the elements of the Hardensburg Fire Department continue to make their way down Old Highway 60, and with one more entry to go after the fire department, and they will be the ones who will wrap up this year's parade as they eventually make are their way to us here. Coming up onto the center of the screen right now, that's going to be the visitor from the North Pole himself, that being Santa Claus. Earlier in the day, pictures were made available with the Jolly Red Elf over at the Masonic Lodge with, of course, proper social distancing. And Santa Claus now taking time out of his schedule to be part of the Hardensburg Christmas Parade and wrap up the 2020 edition of the parade. This has been live streaming of the 2020 Hardensburg Christmas Parade on the 104.3 The River Facebook page. Live streaming has been brought to you by Subway on Old Highway 60 in Hardensburg. Again, make sure you stop by either heading home from the parade or in the days and weeks ahead and let them know how much you appreciate the coverage of this year's parade as the police escort the final entry from this year's parade. And that will wrap things up. Thank you for watching this evening wherever you are. My name is Lee Bramlett, and we want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from all of us at 104.3 The River, WXBC.